So if you're having trouble growing your photography business, you're just feeling stuck, this is probably the reason why. Hey guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits. Inside of this video, we're talking business strategy. If you're a photographer, you're trying to grow your business, you're trying to get more bookings, you're just wondering why things aren't working, well, I've got a clue that I think might help you today. And the reason I've got this clue is because through hard experience, I've learned the hard way not to do this thing. Because if you are, chances are you're working really hard, you're spinning your wheels, nothing is happening, and it's because you're really just working against yourself rather than for yourself. So let me explain what I mean. So let's head over here to the whiteboard of truth justice and illumination and let's just draw a nice little yin yang okay so we're heading to the nation of china the nation of china run by the ccp right now comes up with a hundred year plan now what does this have to do with photography bear with me for one minute they come up with a hundred year plan for their government so it goes over things like how they're going to expand the economy and what they're going to do about tourism and inflation and pretty much every little thing that you can think about. I don't really know. I'm not Chinese. I'm not part of the government. But <laughs> they make a 100-year plan for their nation as a whole. And they're looking at all of these things, and they've got a plan for their nation. What is their destiny? Where are they headed? And it's not short-term, right? They're thinking 100 years down the road. And when you think like that, your strategy is going to be immensely different than another nation that we can talk about. You may have heard of them. The old red, white, and blue. I hope I put the stars on the right side. I, I don't know. Just bear with me. Okay. So another nation. Could be America. Could be Canada. Doesn't really matter. All these governments are in power for, well, in Canada, I think you're elected for about four years. America, about four years. Maybe eight if you're lucky. Maybe a third term. It really depends if you do a decent job. But really, what winds up happening is you make a four-year plan. Because what's supposed to happen at the end of four years? An election. And what do you want to do at the end of four years? Get reelected. So what are you going to do? You're going to spend all of that time trying to get into the next election and get voted for. And so most of your efforts are going to be short term. You're aiming for short term results. You ignore the long term problems. You let them pile up because really what needs to happen is you need to look good right now. You need to make progress right now, even at the expense of the long term. Very, very different strategy between a 100 year plan and a four year plan. Now, what does this have to do with your photography business? If you haven't connected by now, there are two types of photographers in this world. The type who thinks with a 100 year plan and the type who thinks with a four-year plan. And let's be real, it's more like one hundredth of this. So the photographer who thinks with a one-year or a ten-year plan versus the one who thinks with a four-month plan or a ten-month plan. Now, there's going to be a massive difference in the way that you approach your business depending on how long-term you're thinking, right? Because if you're thinking short-term, you need to make money today. You need to get bookings today. You need to get your website up today. Everything that you do, and I speak from personal experience, everything is going to be short-term. Everything is going to be quick and thrown together as quick as you can. We just want to get wheels on it and spin it out on the track. Doesn't matter if it's past safety testing. We're just going to drive this thing and hope it doesn't fall apart on us. That's what happens when you think short term. And so as a result, everything that you make is going to be low quality. It's going to be haphazard. It's going to fall apart. How can I say this? Well, because I did the exact same thing. <laughs> when I started out in photography, it was like, okay, I want to go. I want to have a full-time photography business. So what do I do? I slap up a website really quick. I don't develop a portfolio. I don't get a lot of experience. I just market myself as a photographer. And guess what? Nobody was really interested because I didn't have a portfolio. I didn't have experience. I hadn't really gone through my marketing and my messaging and gotten that dialed in. I didn't take the time. And so as a result, I was stuck charging less, getting less bookings, and just struggling. My business was not growing. Whereas, fast forward a year later, I actually sat down and I said, okay, I'm going to learn some marketing. So I took a few online marketing courses on creative market, I think, creative cloud, creative live. There it is. There's so many creatives. <laughs> so I went on creative live. And nowadays, there are so many other courses and options, but they had some really good stuff. And I watched a few courses. And you know what? I had to spend some money. That's okay. And then I went and I actually sat down and I said, okay, what is my marketing plan going to be? What kind of messaging do I need to use? Messaging is just the way that you're talking to your clients, the way that you present yourself on your website, all of that good stuff. 
let's put together a brand that actually means something, stands for something, has a direction here. Let's gather and create a portfolio. And to create this portfolio, honestly, there are lots of different ways to do it. You could do discounted rates and just book more shoots. You could do free shoots. Uh, for me, it was second shooting. That was the best thing I ever did for my business was second shooting as a photographer because you gain so much experience watching somebody else do it and saying, okay, this is something I need to do like them. This is something I never want to do like them. Lessons on both sides. You gain portfolio work if you've worked that out with your photographer that you can use your own images and you have the chance to gain that experience and just grow as a photographer so quickly, so much faster than if you're sitting at home just twiddling your thumbs hoping to get a booking, right? So I went, I second shot, I built a portfolio. And I actually went and I sat down and I built a website. And this website wasn't something that I just put together over the course of a day. I think I spent weeks on this thing. Like a lot, a lot of time looking at different designs and figuring out how to do it myself. And that doesn't mean you should do everything yourself. Sometimes you can hire someone to save you a lot of that work, time, effort, energy, and learning. But the point is, I was thinking a little bit more long term. I wasn't just trying to get bookings right away and jump in right away and be a photographer. Okay, now this lesson applies to every area of your life, but if you're struggling in photography, I want you to ask yourself, am I thinking long-term or am I thinking short-term? Short-term thinkers are going to take short-term strategies and get short-term <laughs> results. Might work for a little bit, you might get a few bookings here and there, but ultimately it's going to be empty, it's going to be way less in terms of what you can charge, you're going to be struggling and always chasing that next booking. A long-term thinker, on the other hand, let's say he sits down, he makes a beautiful website, he really gets his branding and his messaging together, and he starts blogging for SEO. Now, I have a full SEO workshop here on the channel you can check out for free, and it goes in depth about how you can start gathering um, credibility in the eyes of Google and start ranking better in Google search. And I actually have a full course on this that you can check out at shop.signatureedits.com. But SEO is basically search engine optimization, the goal of showing up when someone types, you know, your city wedding photographer or your city portrait photographer, you want to be at the top of that list, right? Well, that starts with blogging and ranking your website. And so this long term strategy isn't going to produce anything in terms of short term results. It's just not when you put up a blog, you have to wait six, eight months sometimes before that blog post will actually start to get some results for you. So this long-term thinker could sit down, start blogging, every single day they're writing a post, every single day they're writing another post, every single day they write down another post, right? Over time, this starts to add up, and they're creating this wheel of momentum that is just going to propel their business. But you know what? This whole place here where they're just building this momentum up, they're not going to see any results. So that's why it's really important when you're working on marketing your business, growing as a photographer, whatever it is you're chasing in life, think long-term. Do the 100-year plan. Don't think long short-term. Because at the end of the day, short-term thinking gets short-term results. And even more than the fact that you're not going to get results right away, you're not going to be as satisfied. Trust me, there's nothing better than creating something that is truly wonderful, truly amazing, the best that you could possibly create. It feels good. Whereas when you're just throwing stuff together, you're just pushing it out the door, it's not the same feeling. You're not proud of what you do. And if you're proud of what you do, you're going to be better when it comes to sales and marketing and everything that you do with your clients. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. If it was, can you do me a favor, hit the like button below and comment. Is this something that you can apply to your own business? Have you been thinking short term or long term? I would love to have a conversation. Subscribe if you want more content like this and check out some free presets, marketing resources, whatever in the description below. All right, I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, create something awesome. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,